What's good, YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Why is my player walking like this? He looks like an idiot. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new 6'9 ISO build athletic finisher that I made on stream yesterday. Now, there's actually a lot of things that go into this build that I will explain in the video, and I will explain why I did what I did. So make sure to watch the entire video to see why I did what I did, and maybe if you want to make your own tweaks because you don't agree with what I did, you can do that. Look, a lot of you guys, when you watch these build videos, you copy it exactly and uh, listen there's nothing wrong with copying somebody's exact build especially mine because i always try to give you guys the best builds possible but some people like different play styles and that's okay so most of the time if you guys want to use a build video as a template you can do that there's nothing wrong with making a few tweaks so it fits your play style and not mine we might play different i don't know and that's up for you guys to figure out but as always i'm going to give you guys the best build to the best of my ability and i feel like i have a pretty good build building ability that was that was a tongue twister i'm not gonna lie also at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys the six and the jump shot that i'm using right now these are not going to be the final six on the build it's not gonna be the final jump shot on the build but i mean a lot of you guys are gonna ask so i mean if you guys want to use these for now you can or if you want to wait you can do that as well first things you want to do is go over to the settings in the main menu click settings again and then make sure your units of measurement is on the imperial system you do not want it on anything else we're not making a metric build system metric system build today i don't even know if metric works this year I, I don't know. I never really make metric uh, builds anyways because they're always... It's not even that they're confusing. It's just doing too much, in my opinion. Now, my build is actually a rebirth, thank God, because I ain't gonna lie, starting off on this build without a rebirth might be annoying just for the fact that you will not have playmaking badges at all. So you will not have any quick first step. You won't have any handles. Well, I don't have handles for days, but at least I have quick first step. You know what I mean? At least I could dribble a little bit. You guys won't be able to. So I would definitely recommend doing the rebirth quest uh, before you make this build just to make it easier on yourself. First thing you want to do is go with position shooting guard now you can either do shooting guard small forward or power forward it doesn't actually matter they all get the same stats they all get the same tier one tier two and tier three badges they all get the same badge counts as well so that doesn't matter at all i just went with the shooting guard that way if i'm playing with a small forward or or power forward on the twos that are also six foot nine they will get put at the two and i will get put at the one that way i can guard ball they can guard the centers and you know everything's easier handedness does not matter at all i personally like left-handed a lot of people like to think left-handed makes you shoot better it's not true at all it's literally just what you prefer and like i said i prefer left-handed i shoot better with left-handed i'm used to shooting with left-handed so i'm gonna go with left-handed right there jersey number obviously doesn't matter i'm gonna go with like i'm gonna go with number seven i go I, I i like the number seven now with the height you want to go with six foot nine obviously you know what i'm saying six foot nine is just listen it's the tallest you can make your iso build and the thing about me if you guys have been watching me for a few years you know i love making my tall iso builds at 21 i had a, i had like a six six or six seven pure playmaker in 2k22 i had a six foot eight point foot or pass first wing on current gen and a six nine glitched build on uh on next gen listen tall iso builds are just fun there's no reason to be that short and that fast when you can just be this tall and and, and play the one score two score three score you can play every court literally on this build with this height a guy like me i can't complain about that now with the weight you are going to want to leave it at 210 if you want to copy my build however if you don't want to leave it at 210 you could go with 206 which will allow you to get a 75 speed with the ball which allows you to get the michael jordan dribble style i heard it was good i don't know how good it really is i kind of like the dribble style i have right now anyways which i will show you guys later in the video so that doesn't really matter uh well it's not that it doesn't matter it's that i i, I don't know i don't want to i don't want to steer you guys in the wrong direction i don't know if michael jordan is worth it but i went with 210 and then the wingspan you're going to want to go with 76 wingspan now the reason i went with 76 wingspan is because i still want to have long arms that way i can grab more rebounds I get higher shot contests, you know, all of that good stuff. But the reason I didn't go with a max wingspan right here is because you only get an 82 three-point shot. And at an 83 three-point shot, you get a lot better jump shot. Now, you do get a few jump shots, I believe, at 85 three-point shot also. So you can also go with a 7-4 wingspan if you want. But I, I, a 7-4 wingspan is just too short for me. Because if I go on the one score and I play a post score and I can't grab rebounds or I can't contest his post hooks or anything like that, it's going to make me mad. And you know what? I'm not even going to deal with that. I went with a 7-6 wingspan. Body shape does not matter i went with i believe i went with built i just like the way it looks it makes you look big and, and strong and i'm gonna stop talking because uh, i sound fruity right now now the first thing you're gonna want to do with this build now this is something that is purely preference however i actually really like that i did this i went with a 93 driving dunk now the thing is about this game 92 driving dunk is when you unlock elite contact dunk however 93 driving dunk is when you get gold posterizer and i'm not gonna lie the dunk animations this year 
mixed with the skill dunking. Oh my god, the animations that they get this year. Like, they added so many new contact dunks. And a guy like me, I want to put people under the rim. Now, at first, I actually thought having this high of a driving dunk would, like, would have a big tax on my player. I think it would, I thought it would, uh, like, take down a bunch of my other attributes. I want to be able to upgrade this. I want to be able to upgrade that. I was completely wrong. I'm not gonna lie. I, I have, there's no weaknesses on this build when it, like, even with the 93 driving dunk, which is genuinely insane to me, because this build literally is a demigod. I know everybody says, oh, demigod build. Yes, that is for clickbait. Okay, I won't lie to you. Coming from a YouTuber, the demigods are clickbait. But I, this, this, this literally is a demigod build. It can do everything on the court. Now, I actually wanted to get 16 finishing badges, though. That way, I can be able to get gold posterizer, and then eventually core gold posterizer. That way, I can get all the other good badges, and, you know, gold posterizer just won't cost anything. I mean, that sounds perfect. Am I wrong? So, to do that, you want to go with a 68 close shot, an 80 driving layup, and a 61 driving dunk. That is the quickest way to get 16 potential badge points on finishing without costing too much on your overall on the right side of the screen. Like, you know, not taking too many attribute points up. Now, for the shooting, you're going to want to go with a 76 mid-range shot. That's not bad. I mean, you could still, I mean, you could literally green in this game with like a 50 mid-range. I've done it on my popper multiple times. Like, it's, it's literally just easy. You don't even notice having a low midi in this game, but I didn't want to have that low of a midi. Plus, with a higher, uh, shooting badges. Well, with a higher mid-range, you get more shooting badges. And I think 20 shooting badges is pretty good. We're gonna get Limitless Range, Dead Eye, Guard Up, Grand Machine, Agent 3s, all of that good stuff, honestly. And that on, that honestly sounds perfect to me. 20 shooting badges is good enough. So you're gonna wanna go with a 76 mid-range shot, a max out three-pointer, and then your free throw, you're gonna end up putting it at 59. Because you're going to have one attribute point left over at the end of the build. So if you want, you can just put it on now. For the playmaking, you're going to want to put your pass accuracy to a 75. That way you unlock the LeBron James uh, passing style. It uh, basically passing styles are animation this year where it changes the way your player passes. And apparently LeBron has faster passes. I haven't tested it out yet. But I've heard it from a lot of people. So, I mean, I trust it. You know what I mean? For the ball handle and the speed with ball, you are obviously going to want to max those out. Which brings you with at a 87 ball handle, which is a amazing and then they 74 speed with the ball which honestly i haven't that had that much of a problem with speed with the ball is mainly affected by dribble style if we're being honest dribble style means a lot more than your speed with ball because dribble style is the way your player speed boosts around and stuff like that like like basically the dribble style just helps your quick first step if that makes sense so speed with the ball being a 74 yeah it's not ideal but i mean you're six nine so you're gonna cover more ground anyways and you're gonna be able to dunk on people and stuff like that so even if they catch up to you you're gonna be able to put them under the rim now really quick we are going to run through the physical speed you want to max out acceleration you want to max out vertical you want to put up to an 82 which allows you to get the elite contact dunks and your stamina you want to go with a 95 stamina strength you want to go with a 60 strength that will uh that will make sense when i upgrade my interior defense basically it's pretty self-explanatory i mean speed 81 77 again not like exactly ideal but you are six foot nine so you have longer legs and you cover more ground and that you know what's crazy that actually is the way the game works because when people go on pc and they make like a hundred foot players one step brings them across the entire court so i mean obviously i'm not a 100 foot player but being 6'9 you literally have longer legs and you will cover more ground on the court so like an 81 speed isn't actually that bad so those are the physicals right there and then the defense this is where it actually gets insane because you actually still end up with a really good defense you want to go with a 67 offensive rebound and a 73 defensive rebound which with it being six foot nine and with a seven six wingspan on the two score when you're playing against point guard this is way more than enough i mean literally the height itself is more than enough but the the whole 70 rebound it, it's it's not like the best but it'll allow you to grab rebounds over people a lot as long as you know how to grab boards and get positioning and so far i haven't had a problem with it so i mean you know right here you would like to go with an 83 block now blocks kind of suck this year which is kind of annoying uh it, it, but you know uh, it's still it's they still work you know what i mean i still have long arms i still am tall so i'm still gonna get blocks whenever you know whenever i whatever i need to get them you want to go with the 82 steel which is amazing right there 82 steel is fantastic and then your interior defense should cap out an 84 and here we are with the final build i mean look try to find me a weakness on this build you can't. Okay, yeah, it has low strength. Okay, why does that matter? What, are people gonna bully me, bully me in the paint? I'm 6'9 with almost a max wingspan with an 84 interior defense. What, 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 what help? What, what is that gonna do for me? Low free throw? I'm not playing pro-am on this build. Low post control? I'm not a loser. So it's like, there's, there's literally no weaknesses on this build, and this is why I love it. This is why I'm calling it a demigod. And then look at the badges. We get 16 potential badge points for finishing. We get 20 potential badge points for shooting. 19 potential badge points for playmaking, which I also added my 
my plus four to. So uh, let me say that right now. The plus four, I, I put all of them on playmaking. You're going to end up needing it at the end of this build. And then 24 potential badge points for the defense, which is amazing. I mean, look at that badge count. The thing I also like about this build is you get shot creating takeover. So if you want to be weird and put on pull up, put on pull up precision or put on ankle breaking shots, you literally can. However, for the badges, I am going to go with spot up precision and then probably stuff block. This is for my career though. I go like, if you grind my career, the stuff blocks will help you out a lot because blocks are the best way to get defensive uh, defensive uh, badges. Either that or pain intimidation because good shot contest also helps a lot too. But if I was playing park, uh, I think I actually put on pull up precision and then uh, spot up precision as well. Pull up precision fades are stupid OP in this game. You can literally fade anything on any pull up precision just makes it more fun. I can shoot the little James Harden step backs and stuff. Like it's just cool. You can really do whatever you want though. This doesn't matter that much. And then here you go right here. You have built a athletic finisher, which is actually a really cool build. Because if we're being honest, we are an athletic finisher. We have a 93 driving dunk. I genuinely cannot wait till I max my finishing badges and learn the skill dunking. And I will just be able to put people under the rim. I, I genuinely am so excited. Now let me show you guys the six and stuff that I use for this build though, because I did promise you guys that now for the animations here they are on the screen the jump shot i will show in a second i also named it hezzy because uh hezzy 2k is the one who gave it to me who's in my stream shout out to hezzy i appreciate that he actually helped me a lot with my sig but uh first off let me just oh my god i don't even oh no i do have my dunks equipped never mind i lied uh dribble pull up you want to go with normal it's the best fade in the game spin jumper petty hardaway it just looks cool create space hop jumper james harden james harden also creates a lot of space in this game and then these sigs you see on the screen i'm not gonna name all of them out i definitely think john wall is the best size of escape though i will tell you guys that john wall is literally the best size of escape for our build but the rest you guys can copy down now let me show you guys the jump shot real quick this right here is the jump shot if you guys want to use it it has an a plus release speed and a b plus timing impact which is really good it was hard for it was hard to time for me at first because the base Clyde Drexler is kind of weird, but I actually got used to it. and I actually really like it. So I mean, I mean, I, I can't really say anything. You know what I mean? It's a great jump shot to start out with. If you guys want to turn the release speed down a little bit, you can. A guy like me though, I like having a plus release speed on all my jump shots. So this is what I'm using. And then the dunks. Let me show you guys the dunks I'm using right now. Uh, regular alley oops, all of that, whatever. I don't gotta show you guys all that. One foot moving dunks. I have on quick jobs off one, obviously. I have on uber athletic tomahawks off one. Contact dunks I have on pro. Obviously, I have on all the contact dunks that I... Oh, I just backed out of it. I have on all the contact dunks that I can buy. And I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any two-foot uh, dunks. So there it is. And then I will put on both of these standing dunks whenever I can. Uh, I don't have my standing dunk upgraded, obviously. You know, it is what it is. But yeah, those are all the animations I use. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, though. If you did, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. You know, I appreciate you guys for all the support you guys have been showing me on my channel. I will upload... Uh, I will upload gameplay on this video. I will upload gameplay on this build soon. Yeah, I will upload gameplay on this build soon. I promise. Okay, just let me get a little bit more badges. I don't want to. And I also got to learn how to dribble too. I ain't gonna lie. Because I was streaming me dribbling yesterday. And I'm gonna be honest. I was not that good at it. But you guys know a guy like me. I'm always gonna learn how to dribble every single year. It's 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 what I do. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this build. If you guys want to do something different, let me know what you did. And I'll give you guys my opinions on it if you guys want me to. I love you guys again thank you guys for the support and uh yeah peace out